Welcome back guys to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to screen record your iOS devices, meaning if you have the iPhone or the iPad, there is a setting in those devices where you can screen record anything that you need, especially related to Call of Duty Mobile or the Warzone Mobile that's going to be set to release sometime this month, I believe. So I'm going to show you guys the settings. Now, before we get into that, I just want to give you guys a little disclaimer about screen recording Call of Duty Mobile or any mobile game onto your mobile devices. Now, just to let you guys know, if you're going to be screen recording or streaming longer hours on your devices, you don't want to play the game and stream and record at the same time. Now, the reason why I said that is because, yes, some of these devices tend to get overheating, especially if you're charging a device and play the game at the same time. Now, there are ways you can screen capture your, you know, your Call of Duty game or whatever mobile game, the, you know, that you're playing. There are capture cards that is beneficial for that. Now, there are other YouTube videos. I will leave their links down below. I hope they don't mind. Where they kind of details a little bit further of like the cheapest graphics card you can get. Not the graphics card, excuse me. The cheapest capture card you can get on the market. Because you don't want to spend $300 on the Algoda capture card. I don't think that is worth spending your money on because that is a little ridiculous. Especially if your YouTube career don't really take off as like some people does. It takes time. If you're going to make any content on anything like this on your mobile device, it's going to take time to kind of grow on YouTube. Trust me, I'm in that market. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you want to stream or screen, screen, record your gameplay on your mobile device, it's best to get a capture card so it won't overheat your phone, especially Call of Duty Mobile. It takes a lot of settings, higher settings, to play this game. Especially if you're going to be making thumbnails out of this device too. If you want to get a thumbnail out of that screen recording, you got to have the best quality settings known to mankind on these phones. So just keep that in mind. Now, first things first, unlock your phone. That's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so my phone is on lock. As you can see, it's a little kind of blurry, so just keep that in mind. I'm sorry. Now, when you pull down this little tab on your iPhone, you're going to see some options right here. So for me, I have my flashlight, my timer, my calculator, my camera, and this is the screen record button. Now, if you do not see this on your iOS devices, you need to go into the settings. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go to settings, as you see right here. We're going to go to this little tab right here, which is called Control Center. We're going to click on that. Once you click on that, as you can see, this is in include controls that you want to have access with the apps on your iOS devices. And there's more controls like your alarm, other stuff like your Apple TV remote and other stuff, right? So first things first, I'm going to just going to like take this off real quick. I'm just going to remove that so you guys can, I can demonstrate this in the video. So once you see that, you see the screen record at the bottom of your screen of your iOS device. You see that green button right there? You're gonna add that onto there. You're gonna go back, pull down the tab, and that's where you see it right there. Once you press that and start screen recording whatever you wanna record on your iOS devices. So once you do that, I already did a, I already did a demonstration about the screen recording. So once you've kind of done screen record whatever you need from Call of Duty Mobile or whatever mobile game that you're playing, or maybe something that you saw on, you know, social media and you want to post it on TikTok. Once that's all done and clear, you want to go to photos. Once you go to photos, I already have it already accessed from a previous video that I deleted. This is where you're going to see it. So you're going to see this portion. We're going to press play. And as you can see, it's already recording in there. So I'm going to swipe out of here, go to Call of Duty Mobile. I'm going to just move this tab right here. And that's how you screen record and get your recording for Call of Duty Mobile. Now, for me personally, I'm going to use this for thumbnails purposes. So that's the reason why I'm going to be using the screen recording. Now, for the other option to kind of screen record, how I say, my mobile device, I probably have to do some research on that before I do anything else. And for me personally, I do have a capture card. 
already built into my PC. So I don't want to spend another 150 bucks on a capture card device that I already have in my PC. So I'm going to make a separate video on that and some of the things you might need to screen record on your PC and or in OBS studios and something in that nature, because I feel like that is the best option to basically kind of screen record longer content if you need to to post something on YouTube or TikTok in that nature. So if you guys have any questions or any concerns related to this video, I know this video is short, but I just wanted to get to the point for you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer as much as I can this weekend. And if you, if you don't see me kind of responding as much, make sure you follow my social media that you see on your screen. You can DM me on Twitter. I usually on there all the time. And of course on Instagram. So if you guys have any questions or any concerns, just let me know. Just go out there. Or if anybody still does it, I will leave my email in the description down below. You can email me that way too. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend. And I hope this video was informing. And I will see you guys in my next video.